Well, we're back at it on the slow Noma. For today, we're going to get the raised gas tank cross member, which also is our wishbone cross member for the Thorbeck kit. What you gotta do is it goes in the stock location of the stock gas tank cross member. So got to grind out that rivet. Oh, you can't really see, but at the bottom, there's two more. There's two there and then two on the top there. You grind those out. Best thing to do is just cut the tops off with a Metabo or whatever and then grind them out, punch them out. Thorbeck cross member bolts in right there. We'll show you how it bolts in when we get this thing cut out. All right, so that is the cross member installed. There's actually, if, if you look under here, there's a plate that sandwiches between your factory frame and the uh, crossbar. So it's our wishbone. Wishbone's gonna bolt in here. What Youngster's working on right now is the uh, diff bracket. The diff bracket, you pull your diff bolts out and uh, this bracket bolts onto it. Now, your diff bracket also comes with these little plates like this. There's four of them. There's two of them that size and there's two of them this size. This goes behind your diff plate in between your diff your differential and your diff bracket. What it does is it spaces it out because on your diff cover, there's a little bit of a, uh, there's a lip. You can see it right there. So this spaces it out. So it comes with new bolts. Uh, when you get your stuff from Thorbeck, it'll say what's in the package. Like this was the diff bracket uh, bushings and center pin. This was for the wishbone. It gives you everything. Uh, it actually gives you new bolts for the diff bracket. So Thorbeck's kit, the, this is the weld on kit. Everything is bolt on except for your bottom uh, tabs for your lower bars. Those are the only ones that you've got to uh, only welding you got to do, you gotta do other than your c notch thorbeck also sells i think it's a couple hundred dollars more than this weld on kit that is completely bolt in 100 percent bolt in um the only other thing that we have to do for this your lower hangers which we move these for the two link when we put them on but your lower hangers you're supposed to knock the rivets out and pull it eight and three quarters forward and then re-bolt it or re-weld it we moved these already and welded them pretty good so we're going to cut these off we bought the ones from thorbeck that's the four link hangers and we're going to relocate them and use them they are actually made to bolt into but we will probably weld them i don't know we'll figure out when we get there so we're going to finish installing uh this diff bracket one of the reasons we're going ahead and doing it, it will actually help you locate your rear end um, left or right. Yes, and to a certain degree, forward and backwards at the top, but then it's going to pivot, so you got to adjust for your pinion angle. So we'll show you guys all that. There is our gas tank and front wishbone cross member installed. Has our wishbone installed with our diff bracket. To complete the three link, all we have to do now is install our lower link bars. These are actually adjustable. They screw out. I think you get an inch and three quarters worth of movement out of here. Um, the thing with these is you got an inch and three quarter. For me personally, halfway is max of how much of this needs to be pulled out. You got to get your pinion angle decently right. Um, if you're going from a stock truck, pretty sure your stock pinion angle work. You can literally just bolt this in place of your old stuff and roll. You got the top part of the Thorbeck three link installed on the slow Noma. Today we're gonna try to get the bottom bars done. What we gotta do first, from the factory, originally we moved the factory hangers back two inches to put in this two link. For the Thorbeck three link wishbone, what you're supposed to do is take your factory hangers and move them eight and three quarters back to position them for these little sharp bars right here. What we're having to do is take some measurements off of the shop truck to see where we got to position them because we've already moved this, I think, two inches or something. We welded these on really, really good, so we're not going to use them anymore. We got these from Thorbeck. These are the ones we're going to use on the Slow Noma instead of trying to reuse those that we've already moved and welded and got to cut off and they've been drugged a little bit. I think these holes are supposed to line up. I'm not 100% sure, and that should be where this one goes, but we're going to get the measurements off the shop truck and make sure that we put these in the right place these are made to bolt in but pretty sure we're gonna weld them in so that's what we're doing today once we get it located show you all how to put on the bottom bars and so everything we finally have our thorbeck three link in but what we wound up doing is we moved these brackets which we technically should have moved these but we didn't want to use the factory ones so we bought a set we moved them back eight and three quarters from stock location right now we just have it bolted in we will eventually weld this in we just have this bolted in for right now we've got our axle tabs tacked in 
We are just gonna keep them tacked for right now until we cycle this thing a couple more times. So we are building this truck, but as of right now, we're just getting this truck to where it can be loaded up on the trailer so it can go to altered metal. We removed the remaining part of the spare uh, tire cross member. Youngsters, Youngster. there's actually about to cut two by two heavy wall and that will be our pivot point for our our five link bars so on the back here we've still got to remove the old bag brackets the old bag bracket cross member um, we have this block in here right now just to hold us off the ground a little bit we are going to have to change this bar out or do some trimming on the diff plate because it is hitting it hits when we lay out doesn't keep the truck from laying out if he's riding low it could come up and hit so we're going to clearance it and if we keep that bar there that bar is this far from from the diff bracket when you when you hit a good bump it, it's going to interfere and it, it it's not going to be good so we're going to trim it out uh, i think we're just going to replace that bar we got to put a bar back in because that's probably where our shocks are going to uh, mount to gonna get this bar cut get it welded in and then uh, we'll show you all the next few steps